What's up my hard rocking amigos? So today I'm gonna to show you how to get a kick butt scuff controller for under a hundred bucks coming up next. What's going on everyone? I'm Ronan Stallard and welcome to my channel where my goal is to make sure I help every streamer and gamer much like myself by keeping you guys all up to date with the latest tips, tricks, reviews, and how to's. Okay. So when I found out that a controller like this exists, I was like, whoa, I gotta get myself one of these. I was playing against an opponent and I was like, man, hold on, dude. How the heck did this guy get a drop on me like that? It's impossible. He did a move, a slide and a jump. I was like, there's, there's no way. I used to think it was a PC, but then I found out that they actually have things like a scuff controller. Now, this if, if this happened to you, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know the story about when you first encountered someone who was either playing with a scuff controller or probably even cheating, but a scuff controller, you felt that same thing down below in the comments. Now, the biggest question is, for those of you guys who do not know, what the heck is a scuff controller? A scuff controller is a third party controller that offers like a, additional buttons. But the cool thing is that you can customize your own buttons on this controller. You can custom, you even even comes with additional like paddles, different buttons. And these paddles, man, no lie, they give you an edge on the other players. And you'll find out why in just a moment. But I do want to mention that the average like scuff controller can range from as little as $24 I saw, but as high as $400, if not more. And uh, to be honest with you, I didn't know what to freaking get. And I sure as hell can't afford $400 plus, but I had to freaking figure it out. And guess what, man? After doing some research, I, find out, I found out something that works for me. So I also would want to mention that everything that I'm mentioning in today's video, you can find for every console. They have a version for PlayStation, Xbox, doesn't matter. They had it. So let's just walk into this bad boy. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is that I have the PS4. So everything that I'm pairing up for today is for a PlayStation PS4. But don't worry, they have a version for every console controller. All right, so as you can see here, this is just a regular controller. These are the regular thumbsticks. I showed you the triggers. Let's compare it to my gaming controller. Now, disregard the grips that I have on there. Uh, we'll talk about this later. But what I did want to show you guys is the Bionic Quick Shot Triggers. You see them? Wait, focus, focus, focus. This is embarrassing. One second. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh. Nope. Nope. Come on, man. Okay, there. You guys see them? All right, so you see how much longer they are? So what this allows you to have is a better grip and a faster trigger response. So hold on, let's put, I, want, I want to actually compare these two so you guys can actually see them side by side. So this is a regular controller and this is with the actual Bionic Quick Shot Trigger. You guys notice that way different from this bad boy, it's way smaller. As you can just tell by when you put your finger on it, watch this. I mean, it's sleek, but when you're moving and grooving, man, this little trigger is, it's tough. But this bad boy right here, there's just no, I'm, I'm hitting that trigger no matter what. My finger's not slipping off. I've got a great grip. The, the, the cool part is that it actually improves reaction time. Also, super easy to install. Okay, so next up are the Control Freak Performance Grips. Pretty much, they are what they are. They are grips. I mean, but the difference is they give you a better grip with the controller, better support, and better comfort. Super easy to apply. And I can't lie, man, I love them. I do wish they were a little bit thinner, but... Listen, they work for me and I hope they work for you. All right, so this is a perfect time for me to say, if you're finding the information here helpful that I'm giving you today, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted for any future posts. Enough of that, let's get back to it. All right, so here we have the Control Freak Inferno Performance Thumbsticks. You're probably asking yourself, dude, do these actually work? Yes, they actually work. They increase your accuracy, they enhance your grip, they increase the comfort because it's a lot more comfortable and they have the two high rise dump sticks. What that does is it improves your shooting accuracy, particularly between the mid to long range. Works perfect with the grips as you guys can see here. I love it. As you can see, my favorite color is black and red. Um, but yeah, you definitely comfortable. You guys can see the two high rise and what this does, man, it definitely improves your shooting accuracy. I love it. So here, so you guys can tell, look how low this is. And having to slide over to the X and Y button or the triangle button sucks. It's easier to lift your finger up 
I mean, I when I found out about these, I got them right away. Man, they definitely gave me that edge. Okay, just to show you guys how easy it is to install. Boom, just like that. Super easy. They don't really come off, man. So now we have the trigger, the grips, and now the trigger, the grips, and the control free. So just to show you guys the difference again, from the very, just a regular PlayStation controller, you can see everything seems so compact now. I've just found that these little, little, little adds to your controller just makes a difference with the trigger. You guys can see right here, see? The trigger's longer, you got better grips for the trigger, nothing slipping off. All right, let's go to the last one. Okay, so next up is the most important part of making your own scuff controller. It's the Strike Pack FPS Dominator Controller Adapter. This has mods and paddles for the PS4. You simply just connect it to where your charging port is and it snaps on. Boom. Watch this. Huzzah! Boom. There we go. So there you go. There's your scuff controller that these paddles made such a difference, dude. Such, such a difference. I don't have to lift my finger up to hit the O or the X. Literally, my hands are right here. I'm reacting. My hands are on the thumbsticks. They never leave. So there's a difference between lifting your thumb up and hitting the X. See, everything's right there. I'm never lifting. Almost like the guys who rock a keyboard and mouse. So just so you guys can see it, this is a strike pack. It comes with the magnetic paddles. Boop. And they come on. They're very durable. They don't come off. This is the charging port. Connects right here. Bam. Snap it up. And there you go. So see, you guys, don't, you don't have to make this leap from your thumb having to jump and slide. Nope, right there. They're right there. Every finger stays on its designated spot. And I got to mention that these paddles are programmable for anything that you like. I particularly like it for my jump and my slide. Some people might like it for a reload. You can program the button to where you want. Now, this is very, very important too. This is the lag-free wire connection. It's a love-hate, but if you're sitting here streaming or playing the game, this bad boy makes it so you, you're fighting for fractions of a second. So it makes it so you have no kind of lag for your reaction. You're avoiding any kind of Bluetooth interference with routers or any wireless devices. This is about 10 feet long cable and it connects straight to your PS4. So pretty awesome, right? I mean, dude, it, it, trust me, it will help you. And just so you know, I will be doing a full breakdown and later post on everything that I mentioned today. And stay tuned and do not forget to smash that sub button. And if you can, also that notification bell down below to be notified for any future videos. Until next time, my hard rocking amigos, I am Rona Starlord. See ya!